I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we're 27 Travels. And today we are coming at you from Helsinki, Finland. Finland. So we actually just got here like maybe an hour ago and we were fresh from the plane, we got changed, and now we are ready to go out and explore. Yes, we actually had a really good flight here. It was like an eight hour flight and Shanna and I slept like six and a half hours of that eight hour flight, which is pretty good. I wouldn't say it was like sound sweet, but I would say like we're feeling pretty good considering that it's like four o'clock at the afternoon right now. <laughs> so we are actually here with um, Visit Finland and we are super excited. They invited us on this trip with a bunch of other LGBTQ content creators, journalists and influencers and media essentially. And we are going to do a little LGBTQ tour of Finland. Yes, we literally cannot wait. Finland is one of the top places that we've been wanting to come to and we're so excited that this trip is bringing us here. So we are actually here a day earlier than most of the other people because we were coming from America. So we had a much longer flight and they were like, if you want to you know, adjust to the jet lag, you can come earlier. So it's us and our friends Barry and Taraj. So I think we just can't wait to like go out and explore. So I think the four of us are gonna go out and like walk around and maybe like take some pictures and stuff before like the actual tour starts tomorrow. Yeah, and maybe get like a little dinner because the tour starts kind of late tomorrow. So we kind of have like all of tonight and all of tomorrow morning and then our tour starts. <laughs> so we're super excited. Um, we are staying at Hotel Helka and already like the um, Helsinki Tourism Board left us a bunch of goodies yeah, and we're so super cute. excited. So cute, we're so excited. This hotel is like super queer friendly as well. There was like tons of stuff about that in the lobby, but just we're loving it. We can't wait to go explore. Also, my best friend Caro, she is, she lives in Sweden, but her family is Finnish and we've been friends for like almost 20 years. So like, I don't really know a lot of Finnish words. I know what it counts to five and I know what to say like, thank you and mom and dad and like, hello and stuff. But um, I practice in my Finnish. Yeah, we've been practicing. Here. We've been trying to learn a few words so that we can just like talk to people. <laughs> Right now we are in Senate Square, which is like a really popular square in the middle of Helsinki. And behind us is the Helsinki Cathedral. And I think you could probably hear it's like making some music right now. I feel like it's probably, probably means it's like six o'clock because it's a church, right? Yep, it's, it's 5.54. So I feel like it's probably like, you know, making, ringing all the bells to like alert everyone that it's six o'clock. This is a beautiful cathedral. And we've just been like walking around Helsinki. It's only like a 20 minute walk from our hotel to this area. We're just gonna continue to like, walk around and see what else there is to do because it's actually a pretty nice day. Also, we already mentioned in this video that we are here with our very good friends, Barry and Taraz, and here they are. Hey y'all! Oh my god, we're traveling together in Helsinki! I know! Like, yeah. I know, <laughs> it's Italy. crazy because we've actually been friends for probably what, like oh. three or four years? I know! Oh. And Longer we've never that. traveled together, which is crazy! <laughs> crazy. We're gonna have crazy time. Think what, 2017? Yeah, yeah, yeah literally. Long time! <laughs> famous cafe called, I believe it's pronounced Cafe Regatta in yeah. English. It's really cute. It's like a little like shack hut. I don't know what to say, but it's really cute here. And it's right by the water, so nice views. And they had vegan hot chocolate with, with vegan whipped cream. Vegan whipped cream. That's the part that shocked me. I was like, we're going to have a vegan hot chocolate, no whipped cream. And here we are with whipped cream and everything. It looked prettier before, but we waited yeah, a while we and now waited. it melted. But now I'm going to try it. Can I try it? Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> 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 So we came to this place called Kavila Rakistan, which is supposed to be an amazing Finnish cafe, but they have like everything vegan, which you know Gabby and I are vegan, so we're super excited about it. So we got the traditional like Finnish pie or pastry. It's called like ka Karilan pastry, I think. Um, and it's supposed to be like something that you could find everywhere, which we have seen everywhere so far, but we haven't been able to try one yet because they're not vegan. Yeah, and these are extra epic. This one is like a vegan fish situation. And this one is like, I feel like it's like cream cheese and or sour cream and like roe and it's all vegan, so. I'm gonna take a bite out of this one because I know Gabby really wants to try the other one. <laughs> yeah, I wanna try both. Yum. Yeah. Is it's it good? It's really good. Yay, oh my God, I can't wait to try. You have to try the other one too. But I knew that on our last morning before our tour officially started, we need to all come and try some vegan Finnish food. So <laughs> I'm glad we got to do that. Hi. 
Okay, so I feel like we filmed some stuff today, but I don't think we talked too much to the camera. Um, so we were so exploring Helsinki a little bit more this morning, but the rest of our like group is here now. So we're going to like meet everyone and then basically start the like LGBTQ tour of Finland. Yeah, it's basically like almost five o'clock here now and we meet our group at 5.30, but the light stays out so late. Like the sun does not set right now until like nine o'clock at night. So basically we have so many more hours of sunlight left in the day, which is insane. So the first thing in our itinerary today is actually going to to a sauna and going to the sauna is a really big part of Finnish culture. It's like something that everyone does and it's really popular. So of course we're gonna go do that, but we're actually going to like a floating sauna, I think, which we don't know how that works, but we're gonna film it for you, obviously. Yeah, we're literally <laughs> so excited to see it and do it. And it's like one of the things that you have to do while you're here. So we're glad we're doing it on like basically what is our first full day. Taking a little boat, a little four minute boat ride to our floating sauna experience. Excited. So excited. <laughs> where you can literally jump into the water and you can even do this when it's like iced over, but it's pretty cold water. It's like the same temperature in the water as it is outside today, luckily, but I might try and do it later. It looks kind of fun. <laughs> I think after going in the sauna, I could see a potential yeah. for me jumping in. <laughs> Once you're warm, because obviously it is cold out, so like jumping right into the water, it is going to be cold. But apparently that's what all of the locals do. They sauna and then they jump like right into the water, which is really cool. So we just finished up in the sauna and we both actually did the cold plunge. I think I'll put some clips that we took on our phone of yeah. us doing it, but it was really, really fun. It was amazing. She was saying that like a lot of people basically do the sauna and then do the cold plunge and then do the sauna and then do the cold plunge and it's like really healthy and good for you. And it did feel really good, especially after being like so hot in the sauna, but. Also we learned a lot about like the history of the sauna in Finland. Like it's not just a place where you go into like, to like a hot steam room. Like there's so much more to it. There's like a culture, there's stuff to do with like Finnish folk. Um, um, folklore folklore and yeah. stuff like there's it's like history community yeah. it's like a way that people socialize here and it's like very common she was saying something like there's over 300,000 million saunas. over 3 million saunas yeah basically tons and tons of saunas and basically every house in Finland has a sauna and almost every public building has a sauna and if it doesn't then there's like a particular reason why it doesn't have a sauna like it's just a huge part of their culture here and I'm so glad we got to experience it like yeah. this <laughs> this, was, this has been amazing I'm like <laughs> loving it so much <laughs> also we're drinking non-alcoholic um drinks yeah, and they're really good. Delicious. It's like a non-alcoholic beer. So good. It's amazing. Okay, so the first thing we're doing today is a LGBTQ walking tour of Helsinki. And we learned like a really cool fact about our hotel that it was actually designed by a female architect. And she was the fourth female architect in Finland, like overall. When she built the hotel, they wanted um, her to have a room that was kind of like dedicated to her since she built the hotel. And guess what room? Guess who's staying in that room? Yeah, we are. We just realized that that is our room. It's room number 302, which we can say because we'll already be gone when you see this video. <laughs> But she was also queer, so I think this is some weird kind of fate that we got her and her like life partner's, wife, life partner's room, literally. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. So very wild. But anyway, we're with Yuhu Tours right now, and we're walking all around Helsinki. And also, I have to say that it is Shanna's birthday right now. I forgot now. about that. She has birthday balloons I on her did. bag. The, the Visit Finland and my Helsinki team got me like a gift and balloons, and they've been so sweet. So super I'm cute. so excited. Her happy birthday. Yeah. So. I'm so excited to like be in Finland for my birthday. Recent laws have become into power, talking about the equal marriage law, talking about the adoption within the family, uh, and now the latest this year, the new trans law, which was uh, a big step for the trans population in Finland. Uh, but on 1990s, Helsinki was actually maybe even more blooming gay city, if you think about the restaurants and places nowadays, Tinder and all those social channels, like you also know, have been replaced lots of the face-to-face -face meetings. But uh, we're gonna see some of the places which still are uh, open here, restaurants, bars. Okay, so 
next up on our tour is we're going to the Kasama Museum, which is an art museum here in Finland. And they have a really special exhibit that actually doesn't open until tomorrow. So we're getting like an early look. Yeah. But if you visit Helsinki, you will be able to see this, yeah, this it exhibit. It will be open by then. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's called Tom of Finland and he is a super famous artist all around the world, but he is actually from Finland. And we're gonna learn all about his artwork. He was also queer and gay. So we're, it's also like a really cool um, little like queer history as well. Yes, cannot wait. The art looks amazing. Okay, so we just finished inside the exhibit and I thought it was very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was a really great exhibit. We also had like a guided tour and the work was really incredible. And like at the time that this work was like, uh, like being shown like in some magazines and stuff. It was like the six, the 50s, 60s, like the yeah. 80s and stuff. It was like really, really provocative at the time. Obviously it was almost even like pornographic, some of the work. And you know, like people like didn't want to get caught like looking at the work or seeing it. So like, it was almost like sometimes he would even like sell prints that were like super small and they would be hidden. So they actually have a lot of his works but they were saying that like some works were just lost to the time period or like hidden or burned or people got rid of them so they wouldn't get caught with any like gay or pornographic material but it was really interesting and a little bit of like the history of Helsinki because Tom of Finland also lived in Helsinki. Yeah I would say also he at, he at some point moved to um, Los Angeles they said in the United States so his like foundation is based in Los Angeles and the foundation is the one that like um, has the copyrights like all of his work so I think they like loaned it to this museum and that's why he yeah. is able to then that's why they're able to have uh, the exhibit. Yeah the Tom of Finland foundation is what it's called. But anyway it was really cool Really interesting, and now we are off to just do a little bit more exploring before our next part of our tour. Yep, just a little bit of exploring. We have some free time right now, so. Okay, also I wanted to mention this. It's the We Speak Gay pamphlet, and um, you can basically find these anywhere. They have these in the museum, they have them in our hotel, and it kind of is like a comprehensive list of all the like gay-friendly, queer-friendly like establishments like all, in all of Helsinki and all of Finland, which is really cool. So you can kind of look to this as a guide for finding like the best queer safe spots and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, we actually met the person who runs at Hanu yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if he got in, in our video at all, but he no, was in the sauna amazing. with us. Yeah. He saunted with us, which was a great experience. <laughs> but I feel like this is just a really good resource to have, especially if you're queer and you're traveling through Finland. Okay, so it is our last day in Helsinki now. We're actually going to another area of Finland later today, but we just did probably one of the most epic experiences ever that sadly I don't think a lot of people get to do, which actually makes it really cool. Yeah, and you're you're obviously not able to do it, but I guess I should just tell you what it is. But we basically got to go to Tuva Janssen's like studio and apartment, like where she used to live and work. And it's obviously like, you can't just go there. It's not something you can even really get a tour of. We were lucky enough to be with a group and they were able to get someone in the family because it's family owned to be able to actually show us the space which is really cool and she was saying it's like a really rare thing like they almost never do that like it's super super rare yeah so if you don't know who she is Tuva Janssen is um, a really famous artist in um, Finland she created Moomin the series um, it's like a book series animated series um, I think there's even movies and stuff as well and Moomins are basically everywhere in Finland like it's when you exit the airport you already see like the Moomin store it's really really popular and Caro my friend who um, is Finnish she always got me like Moomin souvenirs for like my whole yeah. life so I knew what Moomin was for years but uh, and so did Gabby because she also, because has, her, she also has some Moomin stuff as well but um i feel like a lot of americans might not know what it is but it's a really really interesting um like book and animated series and you should definitely just like google it and check it out and tuva was just an amazing person she was a member of the queer community and um she was just like really brave person for her time period yeah. basically she just lived her life to the fullest and she was just a really incredible artist and human being and it was so cool being in that space oh also obviously i'm not sure if i mentioned this or not so i'm just going to mention it now we were not allowed to film or take any photos in there since it, since it was a super private experience so that's why we're just telling you about it and not like actually showing you the experience there are apparently like um other ways you can see like her work or the movement stuff at the art museum and some other museums around helsinki as well so if you're interested in tuva's work you should just um Google it when you're here in Helsinki and then you could probably find somewhere you can see it.
Okay, so now we came to the Amos Rex like art exhibition and what I think is really cool about it is that it actually features like all young artists and the artists like are as young as 15 and only as old as like 23 I believe. So it's like all artwork from like Gen Z and it's supposed to be really, really cool. So we're gonna go inside and go check it out. to Turku and we took the train. It was like a two hour train ride from Helsinki so it was really really easy. Yeah the trains here are amazing. They get you everywhere so quick and they're so clean. It was just super easy. So our first stop is we're actually going to the former house of Tama Finland which you should remember from earlier in this video because we went to like the whole exhibit at the museum about him but apparently this is the house where he was born. Yeah so we're excited to check it out. People are living here now but I think that you can tour it. I mean I guess we're gonna we'll, find out we'll right find now. Out. <laughs> is built in 1914 before Finland was even an independent nation this was built as a school and it served as a school until 1989 we made it to our hotel in Turku and we are staying at um, I believe it's called Skandik hamburger Bors but maybe we're pronouncing it wrong. We probably pronouncing we're probably it wrong. pronouncing it wrong. It sounds like hamburger, but <laughs> we're gonna put that on the title on the screen here. It's felt like that, okay? We found out that this is like actually like a really old hotel, but they just renovated it, and I think it just opened last year. So like the interior is very new, even though the hotel itself is like a really big part of Torquay's history. But this is the room. It is beauteous. Super like, cute. Super cute. Like this is the bed. Huge bed. Robe. Huge bed robe. And since we are here with Visit Finland, um, the Turku Tourism Board left us these amazing little bags which we haven't opened yet. Um, yeah. But we will. But we will. But anyway, this hotel is super nice. Um, and like we were saying earlier in the video that there is a sauna in every like building essentially in Finland. So there is a sauna here, but I think we're just gonna miss the time because it's only open until 6.30 and it's like yeah. 6.15 right now. But maybe we'll get it tomorrow because yeah. we do have a bunch of free time tomorrow and we kind of want to like, most likely during our free time, we want to go take pictures. Yeah. But maybe we can like time it so that we take some photos and then come back and use the sauna because I think we want a sauna again. It would be <laughs> nice. And it is a little chilly out like right now, the time of year that it is, so it would be perfect. So basically right now we're just gonna chill in our room and then we're going to go um, have drinks downstairs at the hotel and then go to dinner. And it might seem kind of late to do all that because it's already six o'clock like we said, but here the sun does not set until after 9 p.m. Yeah, the sun sets super late. And also tonight we're going to a vegetarian restaurant, which we're really excited about really because excited. obviously we're vegan. So it's the first restaurant we're going to that is like truly a vegetarian restaurant. So we're thinking we're gonna have something really yummy. So here's hoping on that. But we're so excited to go and visit like all of Turku and like explore because we've heard such amazing things. Like a lot of people that we met in Helsinki actually like are from here and like moved from here to Helsinki. So like we're really interested to just like see this whole city. next morning right now we just woke up and had some breakfast in our hotel and then we came out to the market square it's like this really like cute little like city square and they basically have like I, I'm gonna call it a farmers market out here <laughs> with all like fresh local like produce and and flowers and people can, like locally can come and buy fish basically anything that you need that's fresh and local also yesterday we had some of the best vegan food ever I'm gonna put like a little clip I took on my phone in here but the restaurant was called Kori and um, it was just amazing you guys have to go there if you are in Turku <laughs> yeah one of the best vegan places we've ever been to like they had like vegan gravelox made out of carrots and it tasted exactly like salmon it was so insane but it was like delicious and amazing but apparently that restaurant also uses like all only like fresh and local produce and I got some of the produce from this um, little stand right here. So right next to that little square with what me and Gabby are calling the farmer's market is this indoor market hall and they have like a bunch of local vendors um, and you can just get like a bunch of local foods and stuff. Um, and it's actually the second oldest like indoor market in all of Finland. Okay, 
so we just went to Kakola Brewing um, in Turku and we just did like a little tasting and had some vegan pizza and it was such a cool experience. Yeah, amazing. They basically like, it's a brewery, but they also make soda. So they have beer, soda, and they make these amazing pizzas that you can order and everybody was like eating pizza, soda, and drinking beer and it was just so freaking good. Yeah, and also um, this like whole area is basically used to be a prison, but now it's um, being like reused to be like other things like businesses and that's where the brewery is so it's kind of cool to be in like what used to be a prison but now they're like using it as like something else yeah it's like a reappropriated space like I mean Finland is really much about like sustainability and using what you have they basically took this whole prison and like built new things and all of it but they they kept the buildings the original buildings and people like live in it now work in it and there's a brewery <laughs> So like a 15 minute walk from the Kakola Brewery is Turku Castle, which we are in right now. And it is really cool here. And you can just like walk right in. It's like free to enter and everything. Um, so we're gonna walk around and see what it's like. We love castles. We don't have no castles in America. So anytime we get to see a castle, we're like, yes, castle. <laughs> So this castle is really cool. I did see something that said that you can go get tickets. So maybe that's to actually go to like the actual inside of the castle, but the outer grounds of the castle are free to walk around and it's so cool in here. I think that they told us on our tour that it's like a 13th century castle, which makes sense because Turku is like um, established in like 1255 or something. So it's like a really, really old city. So this castle is also really, really old, but um, this is really cool. I'm really glad we came here. We're thinking about not coming here because it looked like it was like a 30 to 40 minute walk from our hotel but when we were at the coca-cola brewing place it was only like a 15 minute walk from there so we we're like we have to just go do it and i'm really glad we did because it's really cool and if you're wondering where gabby is she is currently taking pictures of people inside the castle so she's hard at work over there being a photographer right over there but um i really love it here i'm really glad we came <laughs> This weekend is actually the Vapu celebration in Finland and it's like a celebration of spring and a lot of students like go outside and celebrate with family and friends and have picnics and stuff and it's a really big deal like we have all these yeah. streamers on. As you can see <laughs> we look very fun and festive this morning. <laughs> but one thing that they do is they wear their student graduation caps <laughs> that Adeline is wearing now. <laughs> and that's the one you wore in high school, right? Yes, yes, I got it. For so they still have it, <laughs> which still is crazy. Have it after, oh my god, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> even more. <laughs> well, we don't even have ours, yeah, so I don't have mine so at all. Now I wish I did. <laughs> and the wooden house survived. Okay, so unfortunately this is going to be the end of our Finland video. We had an amazing time here. I just want to say thank you again so much to Visit Finland for sending us on this trip. We had an absolute blast and Finland is definitely now one of our favorite countries. Yeah, we definitely want to come back and explore like even more of Finland, but the two cities we went to, Helsinki and Turku, were just incredible. We love them so much and it's been so like fun to be here. I feel like Finland like exceeded our expectations of what we expected. Like I don't know what we expected, but we just have like thought it was amazing here. Yeah, so we're gonna leave all the info for everything down in the description. Um, you can actually like follow like a similar itinerary to what we did. Um, we'll leave a special link in the description so you can do that. But if you're ever coming to Finland, hopefully these tips are helpful for you and hopefully you have an amazing time and a little bit warmer weather than we had because it was a little chilly and we definitely did not pack properly. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you soon with another video. Bye! Bye.